This is an electronic metal locator. Uh, its principle is to locate metals below surfaces, and its primary purpose is to locate reinforcement bars or uh, grids of reinforcement bars. And its main objective is for building quality audits or quality checks for verifying that the contractors are putting in the required amount of reinforcement bars and to uh, verify the spacing between the reinforcement bars. Uh, very easy to use instrument. Once again, it's based on a 9 volt battery. And uh, uh, as we close the door, there's an on button over here. We, once we put the instrument to on, uh, the instrument is ready to use. It has an LCD screen, which allows you to take even depth measurement of the reinforcement that we're going to look for in both centimeters and inches. Uh, it has a press to recalibrate button, which is an important button to use because uh, wherever there's reinforcement, what we're talking about is a magnetic environment. So we must recalibrate the instrument before using it on a column. Uh, the instrument also clearly identifies between uh, ferrous and non-ferrous metals. That means if we have an iron steel bar inside or by chance we might find a copper pipe. So it will be able to clearly demarcate between the two. Whenever we find a metal, let's take an example if my watch is here. Uh, whenever it finds a metal, it even gives you a plus sign. That means you're right or on top of the metal. And when you've crossed the metal, it gives you a minus sign. That means you've crossed the metal. So uh, even over here, the sign shows us that whether the material we found is magnetic or non-magnetic, which in turn is ferrous or non-ferrous. The thing we get, we therefore get both uh, a visual LCD display of finding the object, the finding the metal behind the wall, and we also get an audio signal telling us that. Uh, we've Let's take an example of the reinforcement bar locator, electronic metal locator, to be utilized on a column such as this, wherein we want to know where are the vertical bars or let's say where are the where is the horizontal packing for the bars. Before we start using the instrument, because it's a magnetic environment, we press to recalibrate over here. The moment we do that, the instrument is ready to use. We'll make an assumption that there are some reinforcement bars over here. And as soon as we keep the instrument, as you can see, the plus sign which I had covered earlier comes up, which means we're right on top of a reinforcement. Also, there's a magnetic uh, signal over here, which shows us that the material we found is ferrous and would be a reinforcement bar. Depth display shows us that uh, reinforcement is roughly three inches below the surface from here. And uh, if you move it a little bit to the left, the minus sign comes, which means we've actually crossed the reinforcement. The reinforcement was roughly over here. We come back and we get the plus sign again. The plus sign means we're right on top of the reinforcement again. If you would take it a little bit to the right, again it becomes minus. That means the reinforcement is between this point and this point. So we can actually mark with a pencil, let's say, where a reinforcement would be. Let's take another example over here. Again, we can even press to recalibrate here. We keep it over here. Again, we get a plus sign. That means there's another reinforcement over here. Again, we get a minus sign. So we come back. Plus over here again. Minus here again. That means the reinforcement is exactly at this specific point. So there's one reinforcement bar over here, one reinforcement bar over here. What is being shown is the ease of use to do uh, building uh, quality control 